This is Shadow Creek. It's one of America's most prestigious golf clubs and is currently ranked as the 27th best golf course in America. In today's YouTube video, we're taking you on an exclusive journey and showing you every shot from a full round at Shadow Creek. But before I open this door, let me show you where your Shadow Creek journey begins. All guests playing Shadow Creek must stay at an MGM property and your day begins in a limousine ride, which is included in your green fee. Upon arrival, you'll walk through these doors and be greeted by a nostalgic clubhouse that is simple yet elegant. Walk down this hallway to the restaurant and start your day by enjoying breakfast at the main dining room and bar that overlooks the 18th green. You'll need to fuel up to play your best and this hearty breakfast was amazing. My favorite picture in the bar is this gem, which shows what the course looked like in the early 1990s. But let's get to the good part and show you every shot from my round at Shadow Creek. We'll start here at the 393 yard par four opening hole. I was so excited to hit my tee shot that I blasted that right through the fairway and I have no other option but to punch that out. I have a testy chip here. I thought this would actually be a lot faster, make a good stroke, but unfortunately we have a two putt bogey to open up our round. Second hole, just 400 yards, and I'm hitting a three wood here, which is what I should have hit off the first hole. And we left ourselves in a great position here. Just 130 yards, hitting a gap wedge here, really commit to this shot. Again, a little bit excited and hit this a little bit deep on the green. Got about 40 feet down the hill, hit a pretty good putt here, trying to get a feel for the speed of these greens. Four feet left, and we roll that confidently in the hole. It's 330 yards to reach that fairway bunker, so this is a free swing. I'm really going after this and hit an absolutely perfect drive. Just about 160 yards left. This is a full eight iron for me. Hit it pretty good, but it actually comes up a little bit short as this is an elevated approach shot. And I'm just in front of the pin here, and this is deceptively slow. My caddy told me to hit it a little bit harder. Still a little bit short, but again, another clutch par save. I really love this tee shot here on the par five. I can sling my draw and puts me right in position A in the middle of the fairway. Just 235 yards left. I didn't come to Shadow Creek to lay up. Went for this, but unfortunately with that draw, there's no way I'm gonna stop. And this is really what you have to practice at Shadow Creek. Inevitably, you're gonna go past the green. You're gonna have these very difficult chip shots here. Blast it out, have about 25 feet left for the birdie. Good effort, we'll take the tap in par. First par three of the day is the fifth hole. Just 158 yards. I'm hitting a nine iron here and hit an absolute gem to about 12 feet. Hit a great stroke here. I thought this really had a chance. Just brokes a little bit more. My caddy thought I had it too. I will always take a tap in three. The sixth hole is one of the most difficult par fours on the property. Hit a solid drive here, but I'm gonna be in the left rough and blocked out a little bit on my approach. I've got 225 yards here. I'm trap drawing a five iron and basically trying to run this up on the green. Comes off perfectly, but once again, I'm gonna be in the back part of the green here. Now watch this next shot because this shows you how difficult Shadow Creek can be. I'm chipping out completely sideways, hit the top of that slope, let it run down, and I've given myself a chance at saving a miraculous par here. Six feet up the hill, confident stroke, and we save that par. Playing pretty solid, but unfortunately, my first big miss of the day comes here on the seventh, where I blast this significantly right of the fairway. I've got no real option here but to punch out, but that rough is thick, and I barely advance this 100 yards. Got about 185 yards left. This is a six iron. Hit a pretty good shot that leaves me in a good position to get up and down for my par. Unfortunately, I thought this was gonna break significantly more and I leave that well out there and now have a testy par putt. Decent stroke, but it just burns the edge and unfortunately that is a bogey on a par five. In my opinion, the eighth hole just might be the most beautiful par three on the property and we are going flag hunting here. Take this right over the pin, about 20 feet down the hill for a birdie putt, another good stroke, another tap in par. This is one of my best driver swings of the day, hitting the power cut, and I actually almost hit this through the fairway. We're just short of that creek, just about 100 yards left, and I've hit this right on target. It actually hits the green, bounces left, and we've got about 25 feet up the hill for a birdie putt. Finally able to keep this on the high side. That is a great putt. Again, another tap in par. We're making the turn at plus two, but honestly, I feel like I'm really swinging a lot better than my score indicates. Hit a good drive here. Gonna be in the first cut of rough, but that's not gonna be a problem. We're gonna hoist this once again, super high in the air, and this goes right over the flag stick. Another 15 feet putt for the birdie. And unfortunately, my caddy and I are both stumped at this. We completely misread this. Again, another tap in, but unfortunately, just that putter is not working out for me today. 
But the driver is going good, and I'm going flag hunting on this 11th hole, which just plays around 303 yards long. Actually going right over the top of the flag, and now I'm in a pretty difficult spot. I had a decent attempt here. I actually thought this was going to break a lot more to the right. Unfortunately, it gets caught up there, and now I've got 15 feet down the hill. Another solid putt, but again, I'm just not reading these correctly. Another tap in par. I was looking for the draw here, get stuck a little on the inside and blast this significantly right. Now we're going to have some tree trouble, and again, we're going to have to punch out and rely on our short game. But sometimes a par save can really save your momentum in the round. Hack this out, have about six feet up the hill, a confident stroke, and once again, we save that par. The 13th hole is a 200 yard par three and Shadow Creek really does penalize you if you miss it by just a little bit. I get caught up in the rough here and just notice how fast it is coming out of this rough. Almost impossible to stop this and I'm gonna have about 20 feet up the hill for my par attempt. I haven't made a putt all day and that trend continues. Unfortunately, that is another bogey. The 14th hole is 463 yards and needs a cut off the tee. I actually hit this perfect. I hit it so good it goes through the fairway now I've got an actual difficult shot here. About 140 yards left, and I actually have to go over that tree, catch a flyer lie, and a little bit of a bad break here as I go past the green. We hack this out, hit an incredible chip that nearly goes in. But once again, I don't want to drop another shot and make that clutch putt. This is my swing of the day. 459 yard par four, and we have pummeled this right down the center of the fairway. Just a nine iron approach left, and I am gone flag hunting here. Hopefully I can finally make a birdie putt, but this is the tricky thing about Shadow Creek. If you hit those edges, it will absolutely reject it. And unfortunately we miss the three foot putt for birdie. Ugh, tough break. To be honest, I was so disappointed from that missed birdie putt that I did not commit to this shot and just sling a terrible hook into the trees here on the left. I've got no other option, but simply just to punch this out, probably about 75 yards, to be honest, just didn't really have much to work with here. At about 250 in, and I am ripping a hybrid. A really good committed shot here that just puts me in front of the green. Pretty happy with this result. I'm right in front of the green, and I hit what I thought was a pretty good effort here, but again, the speediness of the greens get away from me. About 25 feet up the hill for my par, and that is once again another bogey. And this is where you need to stay patient because all day I've been hitting amazing shots. I just haven't been scoring well, but I get a little bit of a reward here. Signature par three, I absolutely stuff this to about 18 inches. And this is a birdie putt I know that I can finally make. We tap that in for our first birdie of the day. And that brings us to the 18th hole, a 516 yard par five. And I've taken the tiger line here, blast this right over that willow tree hits the downslope, and I have nothing more than 165 yards in for my second shot. Hitting just a small iron here, another committed shot that leaves me in position A right behind the hole, and I have not made a putt of any significance all day, but I have a chance to have a walk-in eagle on the last hole, and I walk it in like Kevin Noss style, get the high five from the caddy, and with that eagle, that is a round of plus 173. At this point, the number one question you are asking is probably, that's a beautiful golf course, but is Shadow Creek worth the green fee? To be honest, Shadow is one of the most expensive green fees in America, coming in at $1,000 to play this course. Add in caddy gratuity, food, beverages, and buying some swag in the golf shop, and your day will most likely cost between $1,200 to $1,400. It's expensive, but it truly is the ultimate Las Vegas golf experience. What I love about Shadow Creek is that it allows you to feel like a member of an exclusive country club for a day. The course feels nothing like Las Vegas, but instead feels like you've been transported to the tranquil backwoods of North Carolina. The beautiful white clubhouse reminds me of Augusta National, and you may never have a chance to play Augusta, but in my opinion, playing Shadow Creek will give you the feeling of being a member at Augusta National for a day. Sure, it's expensive, but if golf is your passion in life, it's worth the money, and you'll have an experience that you'll never forget.